Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Bellhaven Brewery Scottish Oat Stout Deep Dark Intense Ale 7% alcohol 11.2 ounce bottle introduced I don't know when but not too long ago there's no scores on beer advocate for this beer it has only 10 ratings <clears throat> Rapier has a few ratings, something like 30, 38, I don't know, but it's not a lot, and um, they're saying it's an 89 out of 100, <coughs> an 80 out of 100 for the style, and Beer Advocate saying it's an Imperial, Russian Imperial Stout, 7% is a Russian Imperial Stout, I didn't think it would, I thought it had to be higher, uh, they're saying roasted barley, three types of malt, oats. Don't talk about the hops. Um, another weird thing about this beer, it's... Okay, the company was founded in 1719. It's now owned by Green King. Which, from what I can read on the internet from people talking, is sort of a controversial company. <coughs> Excuse me, still have that a little bit. Um, some people say, oh, they make good stuff like McEwen Scottish, a Scotch ale, I mean, and um, John Courage Russian Imperial Stout, which to me is one of the best beers I've ever had. But then they make other things like the Wells and Young um, Banana Bread Beer and the Young's Double Chocolate Stout, which I thought were, oh, and the, and the Sticky Toffee Pudding, I thought those were fine. I mean, they're novelty beers, but they tasted fine. Uh, and then they make all the old speckled hen and all that, and uh, twisted thistle. And, and I think all of those are good. <coughs> Excuse me. It's it's a big company and there's a huge line of beers they have. But some people really uh, criticize them and say they just junk beers. Um, I don't think they junk beers. George Howe's the master brewer at Bellhaven in Dunbar, East Lothian, Scotland. Now, if, if you look on the Bellhaven website. They don't talk about this beer. There's a bunch of beers they sell in America they don't talk about on their website. But if you go to Belucas Marketing in College Station, Texas, their website, that's the importer for Bellhaven, there's a bunch of information about this and the Green King beers and the Sticky Toffee Pudding beer. So I'm thinking this is a beer that's made in England. Uh, <laughs> ooh, I just made some enemies. In Scotland, excuse me, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And it's produced only for export to the United States. I know that's the case with things like Guinness Nitro IPA. And I have people I talk to in England and Scotland. And that's about it. Uh, I was going to say Wales, but I don't really talk to that guy. I do comment on his videos sometimes, and he'll comment back. But um, And I don't know of anybody in Ireland that I talk to, but they'll say, yeah, how come we can't get the beers? Ooh. You know, they'll say, you, you drinking it, we we down the, you know, miles away and we can't get it. Uh, but uh, actually, I have people in California I talk to. I'll be getting these Anchor beers and North Coast beers, and they'll say, we can't get it. I can't get this in San Diego. I say, yeah, but you in California. Oh, we can't get it. <laughs> so, but if you, you type in locate this beer on the Belucas website, it's saying I can't get it. Well, I know I can get it. I bought it. Um, I've had that happen more than a few times. Not sold in your area. It's right there. Um, not really the most impressive head of foam. It's beige and the beer is dark brown almost black and it's all kind of Bellhaven beers we get the canned stout which is low like four percent and there's the bottle which is seven percent and then this which I just saw <coughs> recently so now my nose is cleared up more or less I know it was a cold right and I felt bad and I was shivering and uh, and then it went to my lungs, but then it, it wasn't a cold, like after three days it wasn't a cold. It, I was saying it's more like allergies or some, there's something in the air. 
the way it's going. Um, I think if we get some dry weather from cool fronts, cold fronts, and it's chilly out there right now, that's why I'm in here, but um, it'll clear up. But they don't really hang around and then it's back to humidity and this, like, what is it, uh, mold in the air or something. It smells like oatmeal and dark malts and sweetness and a little... Almost, I was going to say licorice or black strap molasses or it's interesting it's a very interesting aroma but you'd have to have it a lot of times I can't describe I'll, I'll be talking about things and I know I'm not saying it right and that's why I like to do the examinations because we'll sit there and we'll all drink it and you can kind of interact a little better with it and perceive it better Is this the video, first video review for this beer in the world? I don't know. I forgot to check. <laughs> but if it is, I'll post it down there. doesn't mean anything. It's, um... You do get a pretty good amount of char... So it's almost like some burnt elements, which doesn't appeal to some people. I don't love that. I don't hate it. I don't look for it. Seek it out. Um, creamy. There's the oats. You know, but it must not be so many because the mouthfeel is not slimy or slick. And in fact, the mouthfeel here is sort of thin. kind of on the wet side and um, the drinkability is really good. You wouldn't think 7%. You would think, yeah, I would think by not knowing, I would, I would imagine it was more in line with the Guinness Extra Stout, you know, the 6%, but they're saying 7 Some lacing, not a lot. You can get that John Courage Russian Imperial Stout in that little eight point what is it eight point nine or eight point six ounce bottle. It's ten point what is it ten point seven percent alcohol, some outlandish number. And the body's so thick, it's medicinal tasting. It's like it's some kind of a patent medicine. That one's really fantastic. But that's a world-class beer. This is not world-class beer, but it's nice. It has some intricacies. I think I'll say A-. minus. It's at the lower end of excellence. It's not the greatest thing. Um, I guess the Samuel Smith's Oatmeal Stout is better. I know it's better. Uh, the Unibrew, I think they're, they, I know they, or is it Ambo Amboise? The Oatmeal. I had that set in Thursday. I had that. That was very good, better than this. this, this but th this is still an A minus, and the bottle was not expensive. It's like $1.89 or something at a Martin Wine Cellar. So, Laissez Les Bon Temps Relay, an excellent, you know, to an extent. Oatmeal Stout from Scotland, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans.